Hi, I'm Steve from Norfolk and Good, Road to Self-Sufficiency. And as you can probably tell, today I'm being a lumberjack. One of the neighbours has a tree that was growing uh, in between the fence that separates us and has wanted me to cut it down. So I've got the tree down, I've just got to get the stump level with the ground and then I've got to um, cut up all this stuff behind me. So it'll be good firewood for the log burner in a couple of years time once it's all dried out. I'll show you some of the other things that I've been doing today once I've finished doing this job. See you soon. So this is it from the other side of the fence. That's the bit that had grown around the fence rail. So I cut that off top and bottom and I've still got this stump to go. Uh, I couldn't find my wedges that I normally use. I'm using an old axe just to open up the cut. Uh, I've got to be so careful because I don't want the chain of the saw getting entangled in the wire fence. So we'll do that piecemeal. Uh, and then we're going to have to process all of that on top of what I've already got on the go from my own clearings of the orchard which are over there under the willow well would you Adam and Eve it just a couple of minutes after showing you that last little bit from the other side of the fence with the trees down uh, stopped the chainsaw tied it up a bit of pieces went to start it again and the starter ropes broke. Well, I don't want to be faffing about fixing that today, so I shall do that tonight. Um, later on, perhaps when I'm having a beer or something, I want to, I've got other things that I want to get on with. But what I wanted to show you now was a little find this morning. Um, I'd gone to the recycling centre to get rid of some old bits and pieces that had been hanging around. And on my way back, I managed to find five more bags of horse muck. and 13 pallets. So that's brilliant find because that's what I'm gonna be making my chicken coops out of uh, in a few weeks time. So I'm well happy with that. Uh, so the next thing I'm gonna do is get all this lumberjack shit off, <laughs> uh, have a sandwich. Uh, but then I'm gonna be planting out um, my first brassicas that have been hardening off uh, they're here. So we've got some collies, sprouts, kale, uh, some cabbage, um, and they're going to go into this bed here. I've had uh, some plastic on top uh, warming the soil up, uh, and then I'm just going to build a little frame, put the plastic back on top to give it some protection. Um, throughout uh, this next few weeks where the temperatures are still going to drop despite the fact that they have been hardening off for the last couple of nights they've been outside all night so fingers crossed hopefully that'll be all right so i'm going to turn the camera turn the camera around and just explain about these four beds that we've got here so in front of us there we've got a little strawberry bed it's probably about 15 foot long, three rows of strawberries from runners from my old place. Uh, there on the ground there is just some old brambles I've cut down that I'm going to start putting on these beds here to help deter slugs. So in my beds we've got, um, this is bed number one where we're going to be putting uh, the beans and peas. Bed number two over there, garlic and onions. Uh, bed number three is potatoes. Um, I might put some outdoor tomatoes on there as well. And then bed number four here is where I'm going to put my brassicas, swedes and turnips. Um, I'm going to try and grow a load of veg this year so I might need to be making some more beds just over there beyond uh, bed number 
two to for things like sweet corn and stuff like that but that's what we're up to oh little thing i, I did this morning just to help remind me of my planting distances a little bit of wood marked out six twelve eight Eighteen inches and then wrote on a bit of the wood what plants I can be planting at those distances saves me having to keep looking it up and being the old git that I am saves me having to remember it as well so I'm gonna crack on get these uh, brassicas that are over there put in this bed and get a sort of cloche cover constructed for them speak to you soon So under the polythene tarp are some brassicas, I've put some um, cabbages, kale, sprouts, cauliflowers under there. Um, hopefully that polythene tarp will protect them from the overnight frost for the next couple of weeks while they get themselves established. And I'm standing in the car park at the moment. The other day uh, I decided to clear this paving area it was absolutely covered in grass, all the pots were fully overgrown, so I've weeded all the pots, cleared the slabs, made a little terrace so we can sit and have a little drinkies while we're looking over the garden coming on. And the other thing I've been doing today is I've also had uh, some of my seedlings out enjoying the warmth and the sunshine so I'm just about to start putting them back in so uh, some of the tomatoes at the back there are doing okay chilies are coming on the gourds are doing well all in all happy bunny